Hello everyone, we will continue the topic ALV by object oriented programming and in the previous video we started that how you can modify the field catalog if you are using SAP function module. If you are using manual method, if your program already has a manual method, then it's very easy. You can change the positions, you can pass the label because you are creating the field catalog manually. But if you have a SAP function module, it does not mean that you need to replace and go to manual method. You have to modify the field catalog internal table because SAP will generate and after that we will modify based upon our requirement. If you have a manual method while creating itself, you can go for all those changes. So what I will do? Suppose firstly we will take a requirement. I am giving the input. Suppose customer is saying this created on should be third, time should be on second position. And this particular sales document number, whenever I will expand, yes, I want the long text as document number. So what we will do? We will go for all these changes by modifying the internal table. So firstly, same to same practice, I will open in the debugging mode in one session and in another session, we will write the logic based upon that. So what I will do, I will put a breakpoint. And in another session, we will write the code. So this is SAP function module. It will give us the field catalog. So I will put the breakpoint after that only so that we can see the field catalog and then we will modify. In another session, I will go for the code changes. So firstly, I will run this particular program. Now I am giving the input. And yes, we will get the field catalog internal table. I will go to desktop 3, most preferable desktop. So this logic executed, it means SAP generated the field catalog. And you can see we have same to same seven things which we are getting in the output. These are your seven columns. Yes. And what is the positions of this column position? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. If I will go to right hand side, you will be able to see the labels also. If I will go to right hand side, you can see we have the, okay. As of now, I am able to see first 50 columns only. I will just go for next columns. This is the way how you can go for rest of the columns because total we have 106 columns. <coughs> Sorry. If I will go to right hand side, you can see we have long text, we have medium text and we have this short text. And this all, this all is from your data elements. If I will show you the structure, if I will go to suppose first column, you can see this all is from this particular, this all is from the data elements, data elements field table. Now we need to modify this field catalog internal table. But customer bought, customer bought, suppose I will go for 1 to 50 now. But customer bought, customer bought the position of time as to position of date as 3. So we will simply write a logic. We will put this to 3. We will put this to 2 because we want to change the column position. Now customer want to change the label also. So what we will do? If customer want to change the label, we will simply simply change this particular long text. 
we will pass it to document number. Now just see, this is a internal table. This is a internal table. This internal table has how many records? As of now, seven records. Because you all know our field catalog is, you are getting how many columns in the field catalog? Seven, seven. So for everything, we have a particular row. So what we will do? We will put a loop on the internal table. And yes, that loop will continue how many times? Seven times it will continue. But we want to modify. We want to go for changes for what? Whenever we have date, whenever we have time, and whenever we have sales document number. For date and time, we want to change the column position. For sales document number, we want to change the label. So this is the way how we will write the logic. So whenever we will put a loop, we will simply check. Is this VBELN? We will change the long text. Is this VBELN? We will change this particular long text. If it is your ER dat and ER num. If it is ER date and ER num, we will simply, simply change the column position. So now I will write the logic for the same. So this session is as it is because it is very easy to write the code if you have open in that debugging mode. Mistakes will be less because you have able to see everything and you can write the logic based upon that. So we will write. This is our program. I will put a loop. So there is no need to switch to manual field catalog. And this is a query from so many participants during traditional ALV also this ask is, suppose this is our field catalog internal table. Loop LT underscore field cat into ls underscore field cat. For every loop, there is a end. I will check. Is there work area declared? But anyways, work area will be there because we have manual method also. <coughs> Sorry. Yes, work area is there. Now this loop will continue seven times. This loop will continue seven times. So firstly, first record from the internal table will go to work area. It means this record will go to work area. So how I will write if, because we do not want to modify each and everything. We want a modification for these three columns only. So we need to check based, we need to write based upon condition. So I'm writing ls underscore field cat hyphen. What is the column name which has these particular values of the column for column names? What is the column name? Field name is equal to now vbeln. If the field name is VBELN, we want to change the long text. So we will go for simply 50 to 100 because we can only see 50 columns in one, in one instance of time. So which particular text we want to change? SCR text underscore L. So I will write ls underscore field cat hyphen scr text underscore is equal to but we want to pass document number we should never never hard code the labels it is clearly explained in a bad programming and other playlist also we should always always use text symbols text symbol so you can always has to use text symbol. So as of now, I just put document number. So whenever field name VBELN will be there, we will go for the long text as document number. 
Now, same thing we need to do for which column? ER dat and ER num. This is your ER dat and this is your ER num. So I will write. I will simply copy. So this is for ER dat and this is for ER num. Whenever you have the field name ER dat, which particular position you want to change? Column position. So what is the name of the column? Call underscore post. So what you want to pass? You want to pass the column position as three. Now, for this particular ER num, ERZDT, sorry, ERZED. Whenever we have that time, we want to set the column position to two. So we have written the logic for the same. Now, we have written the logic, but have you seen? We pass the changes to the work area, but these changes should reflect to internal table. So how, how these changes will reflect to internal table through modify internal table operation. Do not use append, append insert the new records to internal table. We are not inserting, we are not going for any new, new column or new row, nothing. We are just simply, simply modifying the existing internal table. So I will modify the internal table. I will write in every if condition because we do not want to modify each and every row. We want to go for modification based upon these three columns only. So I will write modify internal table from work A. Now, never forget to use transporting. So what is the benefit of transporting? If you will not use transport, then what will happen? If I will go to this particular work area, this work area is of some structure type and it has 106 columns. So SAP will try to modify the value of 106 column. But see, we are only only modifying the value of long text. So why you should unnecessarily give load to the system? So just mention transporting. So whenever you will use that transporting, so SAP will go to changing, SAP will go to changing of that particular column value. Yes. So always use transporting because we do not want to go for each and every column unnecessary. And it's, it's a unavoidable itself because we have not changed the value. So which column do we want to modify? SCR text underscore F. Same thing I will write here also. Same thing I will write here also. Now here our column name is which column you want to transport? Call underscore post. And here also which you want to transport? Call underscore post. I will check the syntax and I will So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we are continuing the topic, how to modify the field catalog internal table. If you have a SAP function module in a some program, it does not mean that you need to switch to manual field catalog method. No, you can modify the field catalog internal table. So we simply open in that debugging mode, we checked and based upon that, we put a loop on the field catalog internal table. We check the if condition for three columns. For VBELN, we change the long text. For ERDAT and ERZDT, we simply change the column position. And yes, firstly, we pass to work area. 
how it will go to internal table through modify statement. And never forget to use transporting. See, if you are modifying each and every column, then there's no need for transporting. Why, why we should go for unnecessary 106 column if we are only, only changing one specific column? So use transporting whenever you are going for modify. At this point of time, I put a hard-coded label, but we should always use text symbol. You all know, during the previous playlists also, I always, always did everything through text symbols. In the next video, we will see how this logic is working in the debugging mode. So that's it in this video. Thank you.